So I'm Lucy Pedler, I'm the Director of the Green Register and we're at the City of Bristol College today. We're running an event called Internal Wall Insulation, a solution or a problem waiting to happen. So we've been running the Eco Refurbishment and the Green Deal seminars for the last five years. It's about trying to improve the fabric of existing buildings. But one of the real key issues that delegates keep bringing up is about what happens when you add insulation onto existing elements, particularly walls. Are there risks of interstitial condensation and so on? So we thought, well, if this is a real issue, we really ought to try and tackle it. And I asked a lot of people in the industry, and it seemed like what we really needed to do was a kind of combination of chalk and talk theory in the morning with some hands-on experience in the afternoon. And that's, that's what we're doing today. We've got some experts in the morning talking about building physics, some case studies talking about how you actually put wall insulation in, some of the problems. And this afternoon, we're gonna actually have some hands-on experience of internal wall insulation of various different materials. I think that the courses offered by the Green Register are, are, are brilliant. They're focused to um, sustainability and uh, green issues. You know that you're going to a course where you're actually going to have questions answered and as an architect you're always learning and we're seeking to know more and it's always really good that you can go to a lecture where you actually really do learn more rather than uh, waffling around the subject. It's, it actually drill down with some hard facts. It's very good. I think it's about the fourth or fifth event I've been to. And generally, the reason we, we tend to sign up for the Green Register ones is because we know the calibre of the speakers and, and the, the information you get is a lot better than most other external CPD organisers and you can rely on the information you get. Dealing specifically with, with in solid masonry walls, um, in our climate, I think respect moisture and, and don't underestimate the power of moisture on solid walls because solid walls don't have a cavity put it simply. <laughs> Do your research before you, you go with your solution. There are many solutions out there and they all, every solution carries some element of risk. It's a matter of factoring out which is the most robust. So is, is it a solution or is it a problem? I think we, we need to increase the efficiency of our buildings. So we need solutions. We don't have a choice. Coming today, I wanted to find out more about internal wall insulation because I often get involved in retrofit projects where internal wall insulation is specified. And I'm not really, I don't really understand the process and some of the wider issues linked to that in terms of interstitial condensation, those type of issues. So I thought coming here, I get a better understanding of that, which I have. It's been really informative, great, great session. I've been in the building trade a very long time. Um, I like to say I really got interested in sustainable building about seven or eight years ago and came to the Green Register and kind of <coughs> just the whole ball started rolling for me and it was really like, oh my gosh, there's so much to think about that the building profession is very conservative and people carry on doing things the same way they've always done them, man and boy, and it does take, I don't know, a bit of a revelation to actually take yourself forward and I found it very inspiring since then. Yeah, what I like about the Green Register is that um, I know that they're, they're independent. Uh, they haven't got an axe to grind. They're, they're not biased. Um, uh, they're not trying to sell me anything. So, so you know, you, you go to an organisation like that when you want to get uh, an unprejudiced um, overview of any topic. And, and that's, I really trust that. <laughs> Green Register really represents a lot of what I'm thinking of and the way I want to move my, my business and my career on a personal level. I really enjoy the, uh, I like feeling that I'm in contact with the front line. This event in particular, I think, it is, it's, it's a little microcosm of what's happening because it's got uh, somebody in the public sector and a supplier in the, in, the, in the commercial sector and then somebody in the private sector who's actually installing. So we're able to get a, a, a complete uh, picture because um, the whole of this green area is very multi-dimensional and it's very organic and it's, it's loads of different things all happening 
and the green register sort of brings all these things together so that you know you know that you're 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 getting all the, all the right nutrients i'm looking forward to the afternoon uh, session with the hands-on uh, practical experience just to see how easy it is to put these systems together just so that uh, we have a bit more of an understanding when it comes to telling contractors what to do This is the main side shop. So it's got an excellent look flange gun that will hold the weight of a radiator bracket. Good afternoon, I'm Dean from Kinath Insulation. What we've been doing here today is uh, explaining the installation of our internal wall insulation system, uh, the design details that we've put in place uh, that we run our approved contractor scheme with to have a robust system for refurbishment of internal wall insulation uh, around the nation to suit the Green Deal eco uh, energy efficiency schemes. Yeah, you use it direct, you, you stick it on and then you mechanically fix that and then you're free to do whatever. We've been using the demonstration here, demonstration house at the, um, at the uh, cottage to show how we apply internal wall insulation. Two different systems, uh, both wood fibre, um, slightly different um, vapour control systems. Uh, we've had quite a few questions, quite a lot of interest and um, hopefully we've, we've shown um, how it works and how effective it can be. Thank you for speaking to me.